Uh, next part we're going to cover is going to be the next two tools, which are the rate stretch tool and the blade. Uh, pretty simple tools. This will be pretty quick. Um, rate stretch tool is basically if you want to turn something into slow motion or fast motion. Um, I'm going to copy a clip here and take it to the end of my timeline here. I just hit Command C, hit End on my keyboard, and I'm going to paste that just so you can kind of see what it does <clears throat> to this one clip right here. If you select the rate stretch tool, I'm not going to get into this too deeply because we're going to get into that later on with the uh, uh, effects controls when you select the clip and go up to the effects controls, the time remapping, which has a little bit more advanced features as far as being able to stretch the time. But rate stretch tool just basically does it really quick and easy. Uh, if you hit R or just uh, click on the rate stretch tool here and you go to the edge of a clip and you grab it, you click and drag, what it's going to do is it's going to, if you drag it so it's shorter, it's going to make that in and out point uh, happen a lot faster, which is going to basically be uh, fast speed. You'll notice now this plays back at a faster speed. Um, if you grab it and drag it to last longer, it's going to stretch the clip out and it's going to make it last longer. The in and out point is going to last longer. It keeps the same in and out point, but it plays it over a longer time, and therefore you're playing it now, it's playing in slow motion. So if I stretch that way out, now you'll notice here, right here, it'll show on the clip itself, uh, as long as your track height is uh, enabled, then it will show your uh, percentage, uh, how long your the rate is, is playing back at. This is playing at about 54.93%, which is about half the speed. So when she reaches out, it's going about half the speed as normal. I'm going to undo that. But yeah, anytime you grab the edge of one of these clips and move it uh, inward, it'll keep the same in and out point, but it will play it back in a shorter time, which makes it faster. And if you stretch it out the opposite direction, click and drag out the opposite, uh, click out, make it stretch out longer, it will um, make it play out over a longer period, which will be slow motion, essentially. And you'll see the percentage uh, right there. Uh, we'll get into uh, time remapping later on, but that's basically what that tool does. So if you need a quick way of making your clip slow motion, you, once again, you just simply grab it, stretch it out. If you stretch it out about double the length, it's going to be about half the speed. That's about approximately half the speed, and it will play really slow. Uh, if you stretch even further, it's going to be going really, really slow. This doesn't take into consideration, doesn't really do things like uh, frame blending, like After Effects will do, so it's... Uh, uh, it's not as effective a, as a tool to um, do slow motion and make it look really good as much as it, uh, other tools that you can find in After Effects and even working with the time remapping up here. Um, next is the blade, the razor tool. I'm going to delete that. If you want to perform a cut within your timeline here, say we get at the very beginning and we have this clip playing and we want it to start right when the camera starts moving, right there. And I'd hit J, rewind a little bit. Right there, say we want to cut right there. There's a couple ways of doing this, but uh, one of the, uh, the using the one of the way in the toolbar is going to be the razor tool. If you hit C for razor, or go over here and click on it, it'll bring up the razor. Notice it has a little cross through it, which means it's not taking any effect right now. But if you take it over a clip, you'll notice this line that goes over the, the clip right there. If you simply click, it will perform a cut. Let me move my playhead, and you'll notice here that it has this cut uh, in the clip right there. A um, couple of quick things here. You'll notice mine has this uh, these little two teeny arrows that are pointing toward each other. What that is called is called a through edit. It's basically a redundant edit, meaning uh, this cut right here, this, this clip belongs to this clip, and the next frame in sequence belongs, after this frame here belongs to this sequence, to this clip here, meaning that is basically a redundant cut. It doesn't really need to be there. You can join uh, through edits, if you see those arrows there, by right-clicking and saying apply, uh, or sorry, join through through edits. We'll uh, clear that uh, cut up. It will, won't do that if you have cuts like this, because these are not through edits. This doesn't continue, this clip doesn't continue onto this clip here. Those are two separate clips. As you notice, it goes to a different angle. Um, so once again, you can hit C and click and it just and it will cut. A shortcut for this, by the way, is Apple K. Uh, if you want to get away from, or Control K on a PC, if you want to get away from having to use the tool, 
a lot of these tools I don't end up using. Uh, I shouldn't say I don't end up using. I just use them in different functions with shortcuts. Uh, like Apple K will cut through everything on your timeline. I'm going to go to my timeline, Shift 3 here, and hit Apple K or Control K on the PC, and it will perform a cut on all the activated tracks. Uh, like if this one is not activated here, let me undo. If, I, if this one is not activated and you hit Apple K, notice it just performs a cut on the audio and not the video. If I select the video and not the audio, hit Apple K, it'll put a cut just on the video. Um, and once again, if, you use, if you're using your tool, the C, the razor tool, and you want to cut, a couple things, you can have your snap turned on, uh, and it will snap to this very frame right here. As you get close, you'll notice it does that little snap. It has these little lines up here and down here, those little arrows that indicate that this is snapping to that. Uh, that frame and you cut it'll cut right on that frame there So if you're trying to get rid of some excess footage here, you can like I said at the very beginning where the camera starts moving I'm going to hit cut Selection tool select that option delete to ripple delete that clip and it gets rid of it uh, Once again if you're through edits are not showing that is a preference here if you go to your little uh, wrench here for your timeline settings and uh, I have a, I always have it checkmarked. I like it as a default. Uh, right here, this is usually, by default, this is not checkmarked. Show through edit right here. And when you do that, it just looks like a regular cut, even though that is a through edit. If you right-click on it, you can join through edit, but it doesn't show that it's a through edit. Uh, so if you click on this and say show through edits, then it will show the double arrows saying that is a through edit or a redundant edit, essentially. So... Um, and by the way, one thing you can do with your uh, razor tool is you can, uh, when you get your razor tool selected, kind of same thing as uh, cutting selected tracks here. If these tracks are selected, if they're all selected, you just want to quickly cut your audio or your video without having to go over here and deselect a track. You can hold down uh, Option. Uh, if you hold down the Option or Alt key, it will just cut the track that you're over. Watch this. I'm all over the video track here. I hold down Option. Notice it just puts that little cut line on the video. If I pull down the audio, holding down Option, it just puts it over the audio instead. So if you want to cut just the audio, Option click, and it cuts just the audio. If you hold it over the video, Option cut, it cuts just the, uh, just the video. But if the audio and video tracks are linked, these two are, you can tell by selecting, and when it selects the video, you'll notice it selects the audio, or when you select the audio, it selects the video as well. These are linked. Um, so if you want to do these separately here, uh, or you want to cut them both, you just click on it without um, holding down Option, and it cuts both. Option will cut a single track, even if they're linked. That's it for this discussion here. Let me right-click, join through edits. Uh, on next... Next uh, episode, we will be showing the slip and slide tool.